Hello and welcome to Higher Ground Gaming. This is Eric. Today we're going to be playing a, uh, a game on that we got from Steam just recently. Um, it's a game called Settlements, and uh, a very, very, very fun game. Very a lot of strategy, a lot of stats, a lot of skills. So it's a, definitely a game that I like with a lot of stats and and crafting and um, a, just a lot in the game. Tons of content in the game. Now, the game doesn't have much as far as looks go. The artwork really isn't stellar. In fact, a lot of people complain about the artwork in it. And um, just the whole the whole interface can sometimes be a little bit clunky. But um, I've watched a Let's Play by, uh, by Sabouts, S-A-B-O-U-T-S, uh, that he did about, uh, I want to say six or seven months ago um, in February and uh, March of... Uh, 2018 so if you haven't checked that out and I think Nookium or Nookum um, is another guy that tried out and I think Vanilla PC Strategy or Vanilla Strategy PC one I can't remember his exact name did a preview video on it but that's about it there really isn't much on this game and uh, I noticed a lot in a lot of the comments that a lot of people complained about the uh, graphics and stuff like that in it but um, there were an equal number of people that, that praised the game for its gameplay um, and I'm more important to me is gameplay as you can see i play a lot of games that don't have a lot of stellar graphics such as uh inside pitch although functionable is uh or inside sports games are not necessarily the uh in stratomatic especially though <laughs> not necessarily the greatest to look at and the interfaces can be a little clunky but i'm more of uh old school with the gameplay so if the gameplay is good then chances are i'll pick up the game as long as the uh um the interface is functional. From what I can see, it is functional and it has Im improved a lot, um, but it's just not, you know, up to some people's of today's standards. A lot of gamers today will want to have see graphics and, um, you know, and again, as long as the graphics are functional for me, I'll, I'll go with it. Um, so anyway, and I think a lot of the guys that played the game, those uh, YouTube subscribers, uh, YouTube channel guys that I mentioned. Are, uh, are big on gameplay too. They like graphics too somewhat, but uh, they're more on gameplay, which is what I am too. So anyway, since I didn't see a lot of videos on this, uh, I decided to, I played a little bit yesterday uh, at the office, uh, and today uh, we we're actually house-sitting in Winchin in Massachusetts, which is called Winchin, Tucky, um, for a friend, and do dog-sitting too. So Mr. Brody is here with me. He's off-camera here. Um, and... Uh, Miss Mocha, a big hound dog, is here, uh, his buddy, so they're right here next to me as I'm doing this, so I figured we would do at least a short video or two on this and uh, give you guys a showing of this game. So anyway, uh, so here is your opening screen here, and uh, this pumpkin and this school thing here are, are uh, for Halloween, they, ha they have some um, uh, pumpkins you can pick here for, uh, for, for healing buffs and stuff like that, so um, that's only going to be around, I think, until the... Uh, end of October, beginning a couple days into November, possibly. But anyway, let's go into it. Let's, let's start a new game here. And as you can see, it has a new game, load game, of course. Uh, save game is X'd out because we don't have a game in here yet. Uh, this is the first game we're playing um, on this computer. Uh, you have your options here, so let's check on those for a second. Um, so I think we're just going to go with the. We're going to keep the tutorial on just to show you guys that. Um, and we have, again, not much in here. You know, there's a few sliders in here. I think we are going to decrease our sound here a little bit. We may need to adjust that. So let's, because I have not done a sound test yet. Come on, come on! Oh, okay. Let's see here. Let's try. Oh, let's do them all, I guess. I guess that's good. All right. Uh... Let's try the full screen here. Let's see how that works there. Uh, now, let's just keep, we'll just keep the size of the screen here. I already got it all set up with my uh, sh screencast thematic recording. So, um, game difficulty. We'll go with standard. We'll keep it in the middle here. Um, all right. So, let's go back. I think we just go back by this. All right. All right. Uh, so, then you have a wiki here. If you open up that, it'll go to a, a web page. I haven't really checked that out much, but there's a little information about the game, and I think it's growing. Um, you know, again, this game came out sometime, I think it was, I want to say February 2nd, uh, sometime in February of 2018. 
Um, and the one thing I do like about this game especially too is that the developers are constantly patching and updating and creating content for it, which is nice. So, which is one of the reasons why. Now, it's a little bit expensive, um, I th you know, for what you get, I guess, as far as if you want to look at the graphics, it's definitely expensive. But for gameplay, I think it's, I think it's maybe a right about where it should be maybe maybe a couple bucks higher than it should be but it's uh it goes for 18.99 on steam um you know i think it's maybe a maybe a 13.99 14.99 game possibly um but you know you can judge for yourself here and again um you know not only look at the graphics but especially look at the elk of the gameplay because that's that's definitely where it's at that's definitely where it's it's huge strength is and you can see you'll see by the number of uh um just the whole uh the whole character setup and everything too. I think you'll see there's a lot of content in it once you get going. All right, so let's uh, start a new game here. All right, so we're gonna go with, since I'm sitting a little far away from here, but I have gone over these before. Uh, I'm gonna go with standard, just uh, just to start it out here. We can adjust it, uh, I think, later on. If not, we'll just go with the standard here for now. Okay, so now it's loading here. So it takes a little time to, to load here. I is, again, using my laptop, so it's a little slower. Um, which I use for my all my inside pitch videos, except for the golf. The golf I have on a different computer now because I um, decided to load that on a better computer, um, just so the gameplay would be a little smoother and uh, the bottom of screens wouldn't get cut off with the laptop. But this uh, is here. I'm playing on a dual monitor on my on a TV, um, a big screen TV actually. So uh, so hopefully your picture is okay. I think it should be. It looks like you can adjust the language here too if you want needed to do that. Um, and again, this is version 1163. And uh, Treon Games is the developer, it looks like, 2018. All right, so let's get this to load here. Once it's loaded onto this, it's uh, it runs between screens pretty smoothly, so there's not a lot of not a lot of delay like this right here. Uh, but again, this is just setting up the whole game, and the game is less than a uh, less than a gig um, in size. I think it's like 700 or so uh, uh, megabytes or something like that. Anyway, let's take a look here. So this is your uh, your your book here, your scrapbook, which uh, gets updated every time a certain event happens here. So what you have here is you have your uh, let's read this out. Welcome to the settlements. Your family has lived in. It's in its life just like everyone else's, hiding in a cave, lighting a fire at night to keep predators away and eating berries for dinner. The world is covered in a thick bramble that makes it impossible for more than a few people to live in one place. Thus, the size of this. The, uh, so each one of the, each screen here is going to be a, uh, a settlement. Um, and you start with two settlements, as you can see, the dawn here and then the glade. And each each uh, settlement can it has six uh, spots here in which you can place either um, houses or um, like a lumber yard or a crafting area or a uh, a mine or a uh, um, research area, that kind of stuff. As you'll see in a second, and you can upgrade all, all the materials. So a lot of lots of tons of stuff to upgrade, though, which is cool. Anyway, so, so you spend your days walking the pathways, visiting your neighbors when time when time allows. Okay, was it always like this? No, not as far as the tales are told. Out in the bramble, there are strange ruins and said to have come from a time before. No one knows how long ago, but what is known is that the language passed down to you now is the language of these ancients. So again, this is like a post-apocalyptic setting, like an, kind of like an RPG, more strategy, but with a lot of RPG elements in it. Um, so each one of these pages here is a settlement. You start with two, and uh, you can send scouts out and stuff to... Uh, to, to find other settlements or to find other quests or to find other enemies that are out there or to help out with other people who might need our help and you know they give us rewards and stuff for that also there's battles that you get into and everything just like a regular RPG so but uh, but we'll uh, show you those as they as they appear so we'll go to the next page here click on this all right time for your story to begin looking for fresh foods you venture out 
You venture far from your regular pathways and behold a sight that you have never seen before. A huge field. You, yes, a piece of land free from bramble, large enough to settle many families. And that's what each settlement is. Such things are unheard of and you are spent some time walking nearby thinking what to do about it do about this finding when you come across a second large area free from bramble so yeah so that's the, the glade here so you start with the dawn and the glade is the second one one is amazing two is fate you decide you must act sending word out to all inviting the families to come settle and make a community like no other i think that is it yeah that is it right here okay all right so this is uh the tutorial here. I'm going to go through the tutorial thing here, and uh, so let's go through the whole interface here. This is kind of like a. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what that says. Fine, as I say, I think it says. But there are different um, parts of the interface. Settlement defense strength. Right now, it starts off at zero because we don't have anything built. Monsters grouping for an attack. Those are like staging areas, so you have to take care of those too. Chance of attack. And you can send out scouts if you click on that too, which you're gonna we're gonna want to do. And uh, chance of a scout getting attacked right now, I think it's what is it, fifty one percent? No, only five percent. Okay, so it's really low to start with. So our threat really, and you do build up threat and stuff like that in the game. Later on, um, and this game is gonna go through, I believe it's ten phases. It's gonna go all the way from the Stone Age up into the like uh, Space Age. I think it says. That's the actual title of the game from Stone Age to Space Age or something like that. But it goes through 10 phases and you have to you know, meet certain requirements to progress to the next phase. And it's all these are actually all real phases in, you know, in life. Um, you go from the Stone Age to the Pre-Bronze Age to the Late Bronze Age, Early Bronze Age, Late Bronze Age to Iron Age and so forth. All the way, in, you know, Industrial Age, all that stuff. And uh, you get different, unlock different abilities and crafting stuff as you'll see but anyway and later on you can we'll use this stuff electricity oil and coal right now being in the stone age we don't have any of that stuff okay so we have like limits to our population and everything currently what our family we haven't built anything yet so these are all zero um but again lots of lots of content here so let's look at this so welcome to settlements you look in wonder at the first of two large open spaces you have found before you can work, you need to encourage the first family to, to move into your settlement. So you'll get that first settlement for free. Um, you don't need it, it builds it for yourself and you, you um, produce a family. Um, now each family is represented by its leader kind of thing. And that's, that's, that's who you'll play as the leader of the family. Um, later on, you can get other people to move in and stuff like that. So in order to look at, look at the screen, here you will see six land plots. So like I said, each six, three up top and three down below. Each is suitable for standard building types. So left click on one of them and build a shack. So uh, a left click, a right uh, clicking, a left click, a right click is used to view people information and to destroy buildings. Okay, so let's look at this here. All right, so I'm gonna click up above here and I'm gonna left click it. And this will bring up our um, build mode right here and uh, so it says here's the shack so I'm gonna left click on this right here but these are all the ages you can see right here okay so uh, I'm gonna actually adjust this sound here a little bit because it's a little loud on my end so let's see well, there you go hopefully that's not too loud here keep a little bit of sound in it though so hopefully that's not too loud okay all right all right so this right these are and these right this right here is where we're going to build our um, settlement center which we can build walls and uh, guillotines and all kinds of stuff to help us defend ourselves like a defense area and these we're going to need certain materials and stuff like such as stone and wood and um, which we don't have any of right now um, up top here is where every time we unlock a resource right here, it'll show us how many we have, so it keeps a good track of everything. Um, again, it's a lot of stuff on the side here. Um, but anyway, we'll discover that as we go. So, all right, so first thing we wanna do is we wanna build our shack here. So we're gonna left click on this. And uh, as you can see, it's gonna start 
right here. It's going to start building itself here. And yet it has a place for three three villages to build it. You can only house one person in the initial shack. And you can see it's developing there. We're going to actually create two of these. And so we're going to, this will we'll end up with two villages here for free, kind of. So the initial shacks are free. Okay, and we should have a villager that will show up at the, at the bottom here once that happens. These are unallocated workforce, which we want to keep an eye on that. Make sure everybody's working somewhere. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Um, so your first family. So we, so these are a bunch of uh, achievements that we just, um, oh, a bunch of quests that we just uh, got credit for here. I'll show you that a little while later. Um, but there's actually quests and stuff for you to complete stuff. Um, you'll get new quests as you go out exploring and as the game progresses. So, so congratulations. You do not need any workers to build a, a, a basic shack, which we just did. The family moves in and will build themselves. Once they have finished, they will supply you with one available worker. So each family is represented by a worker. So these, so what you have here, is, these are your available workers. Now they're random skills they get. So if you don't like what you have, you could destroy the shack and build it again. But we're just going to kind of go with what we have and um, try to do the best we can with that. So right click on the worker. Hold on here. That's just for me. You're probably not hearing it as loud as I am, but that's a TV volume. But anyway, uh, all right, so let's check on this. So I'm going to right click on the worker here and see what we got for skills here. Okay, so characters. Take time to get to know the character screen. Each item has a tooltip to help you navigate the information. Equipment, clicking on the equipment boxes will bring a selection of your items that can be equipped. Skills, and again, you can see uh, lots of skills here um, on the right here. So these are your stats, kind of like the RPGs. Strength, intellect, stamina, dexterity, charisma, status, and health, and everything. And uh, these are a lot like you know other RPGs. If you play RPGs, you'll recognize these. And certain um, crafting skills and uh, and military skills and all that stuff are based upon. Um, okay. Ah, this is cool too. So this shows what what um, strength affects all of these uh, things right here: climbing, armor, blacksmith, athletics, construction. So you're going to lumberjack. So these are the things, melee, etc., mining. So these are the things that affect it. So you're going to want people with high skills um, and strength in these areas right here. Next is intellect, which is uh, chemist, uh, assassin. Um, let's see, later on, let's see here. Scientist, re uh, researcher. I think researcher is in here. Are they? No, stonecutter, which is kind of interesting. But stonecutter, um, which you'll initially get. A lot of these are advanced skills. To hit is intellect too. Uh, stamina is for baking. <laughs> so you need a lot of stamina to bake. Uh, farmer, gunsmith, that hunting, shields, swimming, warrior, that kind of stuff. Uh, dexterity is archery, which I'm definitely interested in. Um, uh, let's see here. Dodging, jeweler, lancer, light armor, marksman, martial arts, scouting. The scouting is, is a good skill to have. So let's... I mean, a good. We have to have a scout basically from every camp, at least one. Um, let's see how it affects combat and so forth. Okay, so the big four are the strength, intellect, stamina, and dexterity. So she is very high in strength, which is very good here. So she'll make a good, um, a good warrior. Is it? No, maybe not. She'll make a definitely good at at, um, at mining and and um, initially. With uh, we're probably gonna end up making her a um, a, uh, where is it right here? Blacksmith, construction, heavy armor, lumberjack. We'll probably make her a lumberjack initially anyway. But she's got very even stats and very high strength, so she's gonna make a good warrior too later on. Okay, so let's uh, look at this here. So those are skills here. So click on any. Let's see equipment. Uh, skills. Click on any you have to bring up more information. Your character will have. A total of 15 skills. So if you, you start building, you fill your skills up, and you want to put give another skill, you have to get rid of one of the other ones, which you can do. Uh, once they have 15, you will need to delete some to make room for more. Yeah, feats and more. You can buy feats, improve stats, and you can also pay for training in certain things. Like you can increase your strength, intellect, all that stuff through training. Um, you can buy feats, improve stats, and remove unwanted skills. And scouting, your characters can go on scouting missions from the screen, also from the settlement and world screens. Okay. 
So let's look at this. All right, so this stuff right here is kind of new to me. I'm not used to, I guess you can just change your backgrounds here, which is kind of neat. I'm just going to leave it at the default one for now. Um, but so the, this is this is fairly new since since I watched the uh, Sabouts um, Let's Play um, and the other guys, uh, which are like, like I said, five or six months ago, they didn't have a lot of this stuff. So there's going to be some new stuff, which I uh, haven't seen before. So we'll just have to go through it together. Uh, this is your armor and everything like that. You can click on this right here. And we, right now we don't have anything built, but if you, as we create weapons, they'll be in here, and you can equip them through this. Um, weapons and shields and all kinds of stuff there. This is here. Okay. All right. Um, and again, very functional. Not much, a lot to it. And, then, and this is what I like, too. It's a lot of gameplay stats here. As you can see, number of kills, items, items crafted, all kinds of good stuff here. Um, production stuff here you can you can give them a title later on right now there's no available but uh, you can make them like elite warrior or elite farmer or uh, um, skilled uh, you know novice um, skilled different types of traits lumberjack or stone cutter or whatnot and they can do different feats here too you can also have them read research books which will help them increase their skills too which is kind of neat so anyway um so she, she is going to be placed on i'm going to actually create Okay, next step. So now that you have your first family, you need to look towards gathering resources and growing your settlement. Take a look at the other buildings you can make. Some will allow you to gather resources, others will allow you to research new buildings and items as well as craft them. See, we have our second person here. Left click on a blank, left blank plot space to build a research gathering building. A woodcutter would be ideal, which is exactly what we were going to do. So let's draw down here and we'll build our woodcutter here. We may want to build another. Uh, to get another person up here so we will left click on that and uh, you can see we get some more tasks in here I think um, so let's see here so our wood cutter is right here and again very basic interface nothing very fancy here um, but that's okay so wood cutter so we're gonna build left click and so start building left click on a character to pick them up place them in the building and start the building process order once complete, they will drop an allocated workforce bar at the bottom of the screen. Okay. All right, so let's, uh, so let's check out our other character here first. So again, she's not very high in strength. She's very good stamina. So stamina is going to be good for once we get like farmer and stuff like that. But we may have to have her... Um, in fact, I think we're going to build another settlement just to see if we can get somebody um, better at um, stone cutting. Because stone cutting, we need high intellect. And she has... Uh, a little bit below average into left here, so we're gonna, we're gonna actually build another shack here. All right, so hopefully we'll get somebody with higher intellect there. Um, so she is going to build our. So I'm gonna left click. Oops. Yeah. So I picked her up, and I'm gonna place her right here. And now she is working on building our. Who is she? Stacy Wilson. She's gonna work on here and building our um, lumber yard. And uh, she is right now is just gonna stay here for the moment here until we decide what to do with her. Okay, so she's working on that. Um, and again, the, each person uh, worker has to have a house or else they become homeless and they start taking damage. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, he's even worse in flex. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna destroy. See, I can destroy this here. Um. Hmm. Left click on the plot in the middle of the settlement. It will bring up a core buildings and defense. Yeah, I don't, I can't remember how to delete the character, but we're just gonna go with him for now, even though he is pretty weak. Um, I guess we'll have to go with her. Okay, now this is created here, the lumberyard. So we're gonna pick up her. And as soon as I do, I can put, you can put up the three people here, um, wood cutting. We're probably going to need to put, him, put a second person here. So I'm going to, even though he's not that great, he does have decent strength though, so that's good. So he's he probably make another good second woodcutter because we are going to need a lot of wood to build a lot of things here. Okay, now she is going to come and um, hmm. what are we gonna, and uh, as you can see here, Stacy because she built that item has construction and lumberjacking. So she's she built the. Uh, she built that lumber yard so she gets a construction point and you can have up to 10 skill points here okay um i 
and he's going to start getting some lumberjacking skills. Yeah, he already did. Okay. So we are, and you can see here, we're starting to accumulate lumber. So that shows up here. And we can adjust what we're going to track here. But for now, we're just going to track the basic skills here. All right. And uh, here, that's where we had our third person. Now, what's she going to be good at? Let's see here. Stamina. And let's see what dexterity is. Uh, I'm trying to think of something that she is going to be good at. We can get her on later. Scouting. She might be. A, she's going to be a good scout. All right. So we're going to actually send her off. Even though she, I think we're going to now we're going to wait until we get some army here to do that. So what we need now is we need a stone cutter. And let's see. I'm going to see if I can get rid of. Let's see, I know I can get rid of this set, this thing right here. The villagers who live here will become. Homeless. Okay, now I think I can get rid of. I'm trying to think of how I can get rid of her. Let's see here. Let me get a little closer here. Um, she will. I know she'll die eventually, but I hate to have her just die. I like to just delete her. Um, hmm. Because uh, she's kind of a weak character all around. There, she has good stamina and everything, but. I'll just rebuild the house. Can I just, there's no, I can't remember how to delete a character. I know you can. Uh, is there a way to delete it over here? No. Uh, hmm. Anyway, I need to do something because she's taking damage here. So I guess I'm just going to rebuild the house. And again, I don't think I don't think this will give us another person because she's already here. Actually, let me see if I can go up here. Yeah, I think she will die. So I think I'm just <laughs> unfortunately since I can't remember how to delete her, I'm just gonna let her take that damage there, and uh, yeah, and hopefully we can get a better person up there eventually. Okay, so now we got two people up here. Let me check his skill here. He actually his intellect is real low. Um, but he can be a good lumberjack. I might make her, since she has decent intellect, for now to be a stone cutter because we're going to need stone really quickly. So let's. Uh... Crafter. Oh, there it is, stone cutter. So I'm going to build this right here and I'm going to use her to build it. She's going to be building that the stone cutter thing. And, uh, and is she taking damage? That's the thing. I think she should be taking damage. I don't see where she's. Let's see where her health is here. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be taking damage right yet. But, um. Hmm. I guess you can. I guess you can use those colors down below too to create different groups of everything, which is kind of neat to organize. Excuse me, organize your characters and stuff. All right, as you can see, we're starting to build some threat here, and uh, our scout here has a higher, I think, chance of getting hit here. So I think what I'm going to do now is just to have her do something. Um, cannot quest, so they can't do anything unless when they're homeless here. So I think we're going to have to build. We're gonna have to rebuild this right here. All right, so we're just, we're just gonna rebuild it here. All right. All right, we'll just go with her for now. Okay, so now and these pumpkins right here again, you can gather this stuff right here to uh, to um, okay quarry. Stones will remain a key source of thought throughout the game. However, it can be slow to gather, and the research types like gold are seldom come across. It is advised that you equip your stone cutter with a, the best tools you can make. Um, that'll help with their, their uh, same thing with the lumberjack and stuff. They'll give, uh, they'll produce more, with better tools. Left click a character, pick them up, and then place them here to begin work. All right. So we are gonna put her back here for now. Um, put her in here to create there. 
Okay, so she has a hut now. She has a place to live, so we're gonna put her in the... Here. Oh, I, oh, I should not... I think I can't put her there yet, because she is homeless, so she can't be doing that. So let's put her here just to finish creating this. Okay, so now she has a place to live there, the one in the middle. So, again, she doesn't have a lot of skills there, but... Alright, so she is continuing to work on the um, stone cutting place. And I think I'm going to cut the video here. So we showed you basically how to have, um, you know, how you need to create homes for them. And uh, each character can, um, can do some crafting or some um, uh, gathering. And right now we have a couple gathering. So next episode we're going to want to create, um, we're going to want to go to our second settlement, which is right here, which we haven't done anything with yet. So in the second episode... We will do something with our, start working on our second settlement. And, um, yeah, we'll go from there. So thank you for joining me. It's been Eric from Higher Ground Gaming. And we'll see you in the next episode of Settlements. So take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.